So question number three, can I pass my desmoid tumor onto my children? So there's two main types of desmoids that we talk about. The first type, the more common type that I see is called sporadic. These tumors cannot be passed down in families. These are the types of desmoids that are more commonly associated with prior injury or sometimes with exposure to the female hormone estrogen. We'll talk more about this later. So for most sporadic desmoids, you don't have to worry about having your children tested as this is a mistake that happens in the genetic code locally only within the tumor. Now, there's another family of desmoid tumors that can be passed down in a genetic syndrome. The name of this genetic syndrome is called familial adenomatous polyposis. Now, this type of syndrome can be passed down in families and it's associated not only with desmoid tumors, but with a strong and early family history of colon cancer. So if you are diagnosed with a desmoid tumor, especially if it is an abdominal location, and you have any family history of colon cancer, we will often recommend that you be screened to make sure that you do not have the genetic syndrome FAP, familial adenomatous polyposis. If you do, it's important that we know that because there will be additional screening for colon cancer that should be performed in addition to treatment of your desmoid. If you have siblings or children, it's also important that we know so that they can be offered the appropriate screening too.